Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your own images on Leonardo AI. So first of all, you need to sign up on Leonardo AI. You can do so by clicking on this launch app button. If you don't already have an account, simply write your name and email and then they let you in. And if you have signed up, simply tap on this yes, I am whitelisted button. And once the site has opened up, you'll be presented with an interface similar to this, where you can see artworks generated by this AI from a lot of other people but what we are interested in is this option right here, AI image generation. And here there are some things which you need to know. For example, we have credits, meaning each time you generate any image using Leonardo AI, these credits will be used and on the free plan, you have around 150, which refresh every single day. So you get 150 credits after every 24 hours. And under that section, you can select the number of images which will be generated. For example, we have generated three images by selecting three here. And you don't have to worry about these options that much. Just make sure prompt magic is enabled. And down here, you can select the image dimensions. If you want a high resolution, you can choose this option. Up next, we can select the aspect ratio of our image. For example, it is right now in a three ratio four format. If you would like it in a landscape, make sure 16 ratio nine is selected. And last but not least, what we are interested in is this option right here, where it says image prompt. Here we can drag or upload our image which we will be using as a reference image so let us do that i'm gonna select our first image and then you will see this option where it says image weight so what this basically means so if we keep it as it is right now the ai will look it up and will be like okay i have to take the reference image in account but make something dissimilar so right now it won't be exactly like our reference image so let's try it out here i'm going to write a prompt Make sure you write really nice prompts because they do matter when you have to create an artwork. You can also look up some of our other videos we have done on this. So basically the image weight is, so basically the image weight, higher the value of this option, the more our AI generated image will be similar with our reference image. So if we have this value lower, the more our text will be focused. But right now, since it is in the middle, the AI will also look at our reference image and our text and then create something based upon each of them. So let's give it a shot. We're going to write something, a girl. So I have given it a very simple prompt, which describes that a girl in a dark place where there is war, low key lighting, cinematic, basically just a cinematic effect with low lighting. So it is like a dark themed atmosphere. Let's select the number of images we would like. I'm gonna keep it to four. And we also wanna keep this in landscape format and let's click on the generate button. You can also choose a model, whichever you would like to use. First of all, let's try using the Leonardo Diffusion and see how that performs. I had to change my prompt up a little bit. I also wanted to name our character because we're going to draw more images so far. And also they have some moderation issues. If you write something like a girl, it is not going to generate an art. So you need to be indirect with that. And here we have some really nice looking images. If we click on them and have a look, there you can see that the background is nicely defined by our concept of war and simply a dark place and it has given it a cinematic look. But this is a bit different from our image and that is because we have a lower value selected here for the image weight. So what would happen if we were to max this out and click on the generate button? By the way, if you notice our aspect ratio has changed from 16 ratio 9 to 1 by 1 and that is because we have selected a different model. So every time you change a model, the aspect ratio and all these settings are going to be updated according to that model. So make sure you change those settings if you decide to change a model. And let's generate our artwork once again. And here we have some images in the landscape format. This looks very pretty and the details are just so on point. You can clearly tell and you can even do a lot of other things like you can remove the background or you can upscale this image to have an even higher resolution format of that. Well, let's try a different model. Okay, let's try. Dream Shaper V7 this time and see the differences between these models. Let's also select 16 ratio 9 because we're looking for a landscape format. Also, if you have noticed, now we are using only four tokens to generate two images, but before we were using seven tokens as each of these models require a different amount of tokens. So be mindful of that, or you might end up using all of your credits, which you probably do not want. And here you can clearly tell there are a lot of differences. Firstly, in the detailing of the character, this has a more realistic style, whereas this one is a little more 
like a anime version of the character and the details are like something in a game or something you don't see in real life but this is similar to a movie or an actual cinematic scene and it looks much more refined so if you are creating something photorealistic you would prefer to use the dream shaper v7 model now let's try using some other image for example we're going to use robert pattinson as an example let's try this one and we're gonna keep the image weight exactly same but instead we're going to change our character up instead of a female let's write down a new prompt and generate some art in that so i am looking for something completely irregular as you might have noticed i have written christopher nolan along with lord of the rings and harry potter style well i guess we've still gotten some stunning results as you can see this is like a harry potter themed castle and the character has also similar style artwork and this one looks a bit more like harry potter himself well that is because we have lowered the amount of image weight and if we were to increase that up and then if we generate our art again let us see how that changes now i have increased the image weight and i've also changed our prompt from a more harry potter styled dark themed to a more like to a batman style a dark knight theme and as you can see we have some refined results here which are in the dark knight domain although it does not look entirely like the dark knight it still is very relative and is good looking and if we decide to change the model and try to use the leonardo diffusion let's see this one so let's change our model up and we can tell the differences and compare these results and this time around we got something like if you have seen that series called shadow and bone this is more in that style the main character looks similar to this artwork so even though we have selected one we have gotten completely different results now i have created our prompt to match with our original reference image which is that our character is wearing a suit and it is a colorful image rather than a dark themed environment so let's try this one out so let's see how that one goes and as you can see this is very much similar to our reference image as the character is now wearing a suit and has really handsome face structure and is wearing glasses you can see how refined his hair look and everything just looks good in these pictures as opposed to other results we have gotten a completely different output here as compared to our reference image and that was because we have used a lower amount of image weight and then we have also completely changed up the atmosphere of our original image which was in a colorful environment and we had gotten away with something with a dark based atmosphere now i have gone ahead and made this prompt look even more similar to our reference image like how the character is looking at the side and is smiling has blonde hair and now with that the ai has generated images even more refined and they look even more similar to our reference image for example you can look at this one and then you could compare it side by side with the original image and you can clearly tell that these are the images which are most familiar to our character so if you want something which looks exactly like your character or almost similar to your original image you can increase the image weight and try to write a prompt which defines the quality of the original image also to get more prominent results you should consider using an image with a proper face which is facing towards the camera rather than to the side well that was it for today's video i hope you found this video helpful you should definitely check out this video and if you took value let us know or leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching